Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and this week we're checking out the brand new event for Idle Heroes. We have Fantasy Factory, Profit Orbs, and a little bonus event we've never seen before, but if things go well this week, I'm imagining we'll see it plenty more times, so we'll definitely be looking at whether that is worth your hard-earned cash. However, before we go ahead and take a look at this week's event, let me give you a reminder about Patreon. It's a way you can support my channel financially, and in return get yourself some perks through our Discord channel, such as account reviews that we do through Discord and Twitch on a Tuesday. If you're interested in that or other such things you can get through Patreon, or maybe you just want to throw some stuff back in my way, why not take a look at the link up there in the corner of the screen. A shout out goes to this week's new patrons. We have Michael McPeters, we have Cold Vibe, and we have Creamster. So thank you guys for your support, and hopefully we'll see you on a Tuesday for an account review. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So, Every day for logging in, you're going to get yourself a Profit Orb and you're going to get five sweet lollipops. These lollipops can be used in the Fantasy Factory to get yourself some rewards. So first, let's talk about this. Fantasy Factory is a game mode where you have this whole array of hexagons and the goal is to use the shapes you get given to remove these hexagons as efficiently as possible. The best way to do this is start on the outside and work your way in, so you can either go from either side at the same time or work your way one way and across. So the more optimally you place the shapes, the less shapes you'll use for each floor, and there is a limited number of shapes equal to the number of these sweet lollipops that you have on your account that allows you to place them. So make sure you're grabbing them, using them, and making as much progress as you can. Now, if we take a look at the value packages for this week, these are giving you gems, profit orbs, and more sweet lollipops, which allow you to make more progress in the Fantasy Factory. Typically, this stuff isn't worth it unless you need a tiny top-up, which you can do with Contract Story Gems to unlock another floor, but typically, most people won't be going for this at all this week. What is big this week is the Lollipop Factory package, and this is offering you 2,500 Star of Gems, which is already worth the 100 bucks asking price, and as well you get 70 Profit Orbs, 35 Sweet Lollipops to help you make more progress in the Fantasy Factory, along with 40 Cores of Transcendence, which is often considered 100 bucks in value. As well, you'll get a Lollipop Privilege Smash feature, which allows you to smash Fantasy Factory if you're feeling lazy, but typically this will be worse odds than just being really skilled at the game mode, and you also get double privileges, so you get twice as many rewards for clearing each floor which is very very helpful because in the fantasy factory you use the honey stars you obtain which you can get by clearing these hexagons to buy things in the shop typically people go for gold spirit and then eventually get this resident construction chest which gives you celestial island materials and try and accumulate as many aurora stars as you can aurora stars are good because they pass over into future events so you don't have to only use the honey stars this week because the aurora stars you grab can be used in future events which is good because they will release events that reward you for aurora stars and and honey stars used so getting more aurora stars for events like that can be really helpful but either way as you make your way down there's a chance for a nine star puppet and if you go ahead and buy that package we talked about earlier you will definitely be able to get yourself a mysterious artifact chest and that contains elusive mirror sadly no lucky cap but this is still a pretty good chest to grab if you need artifacts so that could make buying this package pretty tempting for you guys. But what they've added to this week's event is based on the fact that still, even though this package is kind of good, many people are not buying it, especially if they used to. DH Games have seen a trend that players who used to buy this package aren't doing so anymore. And the reason is, the Lollipop Factory just isn't what it used to be. Getting artifacts is no longer more difficult. Getting artifacts is no longer a huge struggle, and therefore it really isn't worth spending your hard-earned money on the Lollipop Factory package. They've added to this the Prism Story Gems to try and make it more attractive, but still that doesn't seem to have been enough. So the devs have added the VIP Reverie, which basically is rewarding you for every 500 VIP XP you spend this week. So you could just ignore that package completely and top up entirely on monthly cards. Maybe that's something you want to do. But basically, if you spend 5,000 VIP XP, you'll get the maximum of 10 of these boxes. And from these boxes, you have interesting probabilities of pulling different things. The first thing I want to draw you to is this melon chest and this core chest up here. Do not be fooled. These only have 10% of what you'd normally expect and all the rewards weighted at seven percent here there's 10 of them so there's a 70 percent chance to get one of these from opening the chest these are fairly small rewards and only worth about 10 bucks in value but if you move down to the 2.5 percent odds where there's a 25 percent chance to get one of these you get some more stuff here it's actually a lot more than what you see above it's three times more so there's three of these chests that contain 9,000, or maybe you're going to get three times as many stellar shards or cause of transcendence and if you high roll there's a 5% chance to get one of these last 10 here. 
This could be as big as 40 cores of Transcendence or a whole chest full of sublimations or even half a core of Origin right here. All these things are really, really neat if you can pick them up and high roll. But do bear in mind that there is just under 60% of a chance that you will never get any of these top items. But fortunately, the odds of only getting the 7% ones is less than 3%. So you have to be particularly unlucky to get only the 7% chance ones from your chest. Now, of course, this is exclusive only to spenders, but you can really see why the devs have added this. There is a huge amount of FOMO and gambling that the devs have added, and as well, they've done a very, very sneaky and clever thing. By releasing this sort of event, they are establishing equity across all these items. Never before have we seen such an even comparison of the top resources in the game. So the devs are trying to make it extraordinarily clear that 400 Masters Toolboxes, 1.25 million crystals of transcendence, same amount for Stellars, 150k spiritual essence, you get the idea. All of these things here, even the Aurora Gem Shards and Scattered Spirit Vein Shards, the devs hold as equal weight and equal value. Now, we have seen it before where you can choose between cores or essence, sometimes Spirit Vein Shards and Aurora Gems as well, sometimes Stellar Shards and Crystals, even they throw Spiritual Essence in there. But having cores added and Master's Toolboxes too just sets everything up to establish that sense of value in the community. And that's important moving forward so the devs can entice us in future events by saying, oh, look, this is how much it cost you there. Look how much it is now. So the fact that we can now have a psychological equation of working out what is and isn't even equal value is going to be really powerful for the developers to use in the future when enticing us with events. Very clever marketing move and honestly a very cool way of being transparent with how they think about the ways of giving rewards to players like you and me. And I'm expecting because of this additional bonus, the VIP Reverie, more people are going to buy the Lollipop Factory package than have been in the past. And that's going to be a huge bonus for DH Games because they'll see this as a guaranteed way to generate themselves more money. So expect VIP Reverie to return if this week is a success. And my prediction is correct that more people end up do buying the Lollipop Factory pack. After all, you are getting 100 books worth of cores, 100 books worth of Prism Starry Gems, and of course, 100 books potentially worth of all these other rewards in here too if you high roll, not to mention that even just getting 10 of the 7% ones is still worth that equal value. But the chance of high rolling makes this even more attractive for the twitchy fingered whales. Oh, and trust me, you have to be twitchy fingered to be a whale in the first place because that's the typical attitude that gets them high rolling, making big moves and spending money to make progress. So that's exactly what this pack can potentially bring. On top of other stuff we have, we have Heroic Miracle, which is rewarding us for getting five stars. So if you get three lights, three darks, five forest, abyss, fortress and shadow, you will get yourself a copy of Patricia along with 20 sweet lollipops and the armor and profit orbs and heroic summon scrolls you see here as well so this is definitely something you want to do because that guaranteed copy of patricia is nice and the sweet lollipops are pretty much essential for making progress in the factory and then you can look at this profit orb event and see gaggy as a top reward and gag yourself at how disgustingly pointless this is don't waste your profit orbs Honestly, do not waste them on this at all. The only reason I would use Profit Orbs this week is if I really needed five more Soul Symbols and just needed to do 50 Profit Orbs to do that. But typically you want to save these for big events. Big Profit Orb events do exist. They're just surprisingly rare. I think they only seem to be like three across the year because DH Games keeps forgetting to make them. Uh, so hopefully we'll end up with something good coming up soon. And on the topic of something good, we have Easter next week. And Easter is going to be fantastic. Not only because it gives kids a bunch of time off at school, it means you guys are going to be able to enjoy huge rewards in Idle Heroes. We have, of course, just on normal stuff, we have Sky Labyrinth, we have the Mysterious Chests, and we have a Wishing Fountain event giving Ignis as the top reward, but the Easter stuff is going to give something spicy as well. So save your Wishing Coins, because Wishing Coins will be used for this. However... Last month, we also had a really big wishing coin event, so I'm very, very interested in how many wishing coins people actually have, because with Easter being a wishing coin event too, it's probably going to leave a few people tapped and a bit annoyed they won't get many rewards. But if you did save your wishing coins, I know last time was really good, but I expect Easter to be just as good, and there's a chance that you can pick up something really nice like Sublimation, Aurora Shards, whatever might come our way could be really interesting. So if you're really hyped to find out what Easter is like, hit that subscribe button. I will be reviewing that event next Next week. So yeah, guys, all you have to do is wait through what seems like a pretty quiet profit orb event this week, and maybe you're going to spend, maybe you won't, but really, 
that's a one and done thing. This is just do your fantasy factory, do your dailies, and get excited because this week Star Expedition is returning. So make sure you get ready to battle in Star Expedition as that will be coming this week. And good luck making progress and getting huge damage on those leaderboards. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you learned something about this week's event. Let me know in the comments section whether you'll be buying that big pack worth 100 bucks. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. And let us know as well if you high roll and get something really fancy, those heavier weighted rewards if you do go ahead and buy that pack. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you for tuning in. Have an amazing week, and I will hopefully catch you in future uploads, whether it's the Turbo Series, VIP Series, an account review, or heck, next week's Easter event. Either way, see you then. Have an amazing week. And of course, happy island.